Okay, so today we're going to be doing a little maintenance on one of my watches. Uh, this is one I've had for a couple years. It's a Game Boy watch. I think it's an official Nintendo product. See there? Made by Paladone Products LTD, model number BN43 6NZ. Takes a CR2032 battery. This one's been dead for a while, and I happen to be in Ikea and saw these batteries for a couple bucks. So I said, you know what? It's going to be a good opportunity to get this watch all straightened out. So let's get to it. Um, first thing we're going to do is pop these screws out. This watch actually has a story. I got this. Oh, shoot. This was imported, actually. There was some company in England was selling them. And it wasn't terribly expensive. Maybe $20 or so. Um, I had it for maybe a week. I wore it once. And the LCD started just displaying garbage just did not work anymore which was really odd because I mean I had only worn it for maybe an hour so I contacted them sent them pictures of what it was doing and they said well we can either send you a new one you can send it back or you can keep it and we'll give you a refund I said you know a new one's probably gonna do the same thing I'll just take the refund so I got my money back for it and um, I gave it a couple good wax some percussive maintenance and wouldn't you know it fixed itself there must have been a bad connection at the zebra connector there and uh, that fixed it so that was pretty lucky so it does work I mean I don't wear it very often not really something you wear all the time but it's a cool watch and it has some interesting features I'll show once the batteries are in it but yeah I don't remember this either takes one or two you know these 1.5 volt batteries these are big batteries they have a lot of capacity and this thing chews right through them Grab these screws here. Two, three, and I think this one needs a little more persuasion. There we go. All right. You know what? I don't think we need to take those four out. Live and learn. Okay, it looks like we have. Zoom in so you can see that. Two screws holding that cover down. We'll make sure we get the orientation correct. Ah, you know what? We can actually see the build date on this board 312 of 18. A little over three years old. All right, let's get these screws out here. You know, I'm going to switch to a smaller bit. I think this might be a little big for what we're doing here. Okay. I think we'll switch to a smaller bit because that one's too big. But yeah, it's a pretty cool watch. Big fan of the old school Game Boy. 
where the DMG zero one or zero zero one. You know, we're going to take this whole thing off intact, and so we remember the orientation. Now, you know what? That screw. More persuasion to come out of there. There we go. That's fine. Stay there. Pop that battery out. All right, grab one of our new batteries here. Hmm. Well, that's conveniently packed. You just pop out the one you want. I think we're going to take this one. down like so Let's swing this around oh now it decided to release that's fine get these screws out of there Very tiny screws. Have to be very careful with these. Helps to work under a lot of light. Luckily, I have a whole lot of light here. We're going to want to go backwards to find those threads if we can. This is quite fiddly, though, isn't it? There we go. I think we've got that. Whenever you're doing multiple screws, I like to get it down just before it gets snug. That way you can line up the other side. If you snug one side down all the way, the other side might not be exactly where it needs to be. And you want to avoid that. There we go. tell you what a magnifying glass would be very helpful one of those uh it's like a ring light and a magnifier combined okay that's one let's tighten down the other side now oh i see an led i think we've done this correctly what do we have 12 it's alive excellent let's put the rest of this back together there's the top of our Game Boy, that's the back. You can see they really paid attention to detail on this. Very convincing replica. And let's see, let's grab one of these screws here. And I think that came from here. We're going to go backwards so we don't Make any new threads. That's two. And you don't have to do this. I like to go opposites. So the whole top is torqued down evenly. Something like this probably doesn't matter, but it's a good habit to be in. In some cases it might matter. There we go. Come on, find the threads. Now we can tighten these down all the way. And let's grab this one here. Yeah, that one's stripped out, isn't it? It's all right. We'll dress that later. Good. I 
make sure we put this oriented correctly. Like that. Strange. I wonder what the purpose of that rectangular metal plate is. I mean, you can't get the batteries out. You have to take the whole uh, rear panel off with these outer screws. Very curious. Okay, we'll get that. We get that last one in, we can tighten them all down. Very good. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting watch. I kind of like it. I like the style of it. It's, like I said, not something you're going to wear every day. Definitely has that uh, geek chic look. All right, so this is our top. And then we're gonna want to put this back here. Let's use our watch band tool. One. Make sure we get this oriented correctly, and we'll find the hole there. Got it. And there's our watch. Clock is running. Excellent. All right, now that we have the battery in, I thought I'd go ahead and show you how to set the alarm and also the time. I set the time, we're gonna press and hold down the B key, the left button right there. B button more accurately. Okay, that's going to allow us to set our minutes. And the time is 548. 48, press it again. And set the hour. And again, it's 5 p.m. 5 p.m. The date is what is the date? Wednesday the 30th, that's not going to tell us the month, but it's June, so that's month is June, again we're pressing on the D-pad, the D-pad is just a single button, uh, it's not directional, and the day of the week is Wednesday, so what's that, that is our time is set, 547, compare with our other watch here, 548. We're off by 30 seconds. Not a big deal. I'm not going to be wearing this every day. This doesn't need to have atomic precision. Uh, let's see. The alarm. We want to set the alarm. Press and hold the A button. And there you can set your alarm the same way. Uh, let's see. 8. 12.08 a.m. That's going to be fantastic. Now let's go to 7.08. And that's it. You press the A button, you can turn that off. 
turn that on again. We're going to keep that off. I don't want to hear the alarm. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and set the alarm so we can hear what that sounds like. This D-pad, of course, gives you the light so you can see in the dark. Let's set that for 5.50 p.m. All right, and we'll just wait for that. There you have it, that's what the alarm sounds like. So this watch is all set to go. Only thing left to do is to put this on my wrist. And we're all set. Hey guys, thank you all very much for watching. If you have any questions, Please feel free to put them down in the comments below.